and welcome along and welcome to uh, the sixth in our video series looking at the brand new precision farming DLC for Farming Simulator 19. Now today we're going to be looking at crops and crop rotation and, and, and the needs of each crop and everything because it's something that's come up during doing the videos this week is that each of these crops has a different fertilizer requirement uh, as you're going through and some of them such as uh, the soybeans and of course our cover crop here the all seed radish those actually increase the amount of nitrogen in the ground lots of questions about grass so we've got a, a row of grass here to cut today as well uh, we've got uh, a whole load of corn sunflowers sugar beet cotton we're even going up to uh, potatoes and uh, and we have some of the poplars here as well to do too. Uh, we've got a control strip along here so, as well. So what I've done is field 18, I have uh, gone in and I have uh, got on the precision farming uh, and I've scanned it and found a large area of a single type of soil. And the particular soil we've gone, I've gone for is loam because that will, for most crops, that produces the highest yield. And it's it's going to be interesting to see if that actually holds true for this. So we should get yield strips for this as we go through. We uh, uh, we've got we've got the pH evened out, so everything's set right for the pH. And then we've got uh, nitrogen levels. And you can see here the different nitrogen levels you've got for each crop. So we've got our wheat across the bottom. That has gone up to the top one. And this actually, so I should explain as well. The left-hand side of the field here, that has had manure spread on it. The right-hand side of the strips, those haven't. So I want, what I wanted to see was how much and if at all the nitrogen levels were raised compared to uh, pre-doing it with manure versus not doing it min with manure. So the wheat, you can see that it has taken it up to the full thing. Uh, so uh, anything, anything that is a solid line all the way across here you want to be putting down manure or slurry before you plant it. The exception uh, is the poplars at the top here because they were the only crop that I couldn't plant and fertilize at the same time. So wheat, barley, oats, canola, all of those you should put down uh, a pre-layer of fertilizer. That will save you money in the long run. Then moving on to both... What do we got here? Soybeans and oilseed radish. Understandably, uh, soybeans are nitrogen rich and so don't need fertilizing at all. And the same is true for oilseed radish. You don't need to fertilize either of those crops. Grass is next. And grass, interestingly enough, did need fertilizing to the full wax. So I would put down manure before you seed grass. Uh, I would also put down manure before you seed uh, soybeans, not soybeans, corn, yes. Corn, you should put manure down. Uh, sunflowers, if you put manure down, you will not need to put down any extra fertilizer. But, and this is the important bit, um, you will over fertilize a little bit. So I would probably do it the other way around. I would probably not put a pre-layer of fertilizer, no manure or slurry down for sunflowers and just do a uh, liquid or solid fertilizer afterwards. We then move on to the sugar beet. Uh, the sugar beet you should put down manure for first. Uh, then the next one being the white, the cotton, don't put the manure down for cotton. Cotton, you can just have a, a brief one with the solid or the liquid fertilizer as well. Uh, then finally, we've got up here, I think that is the potatoes. Yep, the potatoes there. Uh, those do need a little bit of a boost after a layer of manure. The sugar cane, again, is is better off with a first set of manure and then you've got the poplars which we don't know because we've been unable to fertilize them and then you can see we've got our final row and set of things up here where we've got our control row so uh yeah that's to me that was really interesting to 
to be able to go right okay so for cotton i don't need to put manure down for sunflowers i don't need to put manure down if if i've got a low nitrogen level and that is that is the other thing to remember some fields you will find that you don't have a low nitrogen level in the first place and we're going to work out how that is right now because we're going to go through and we're going to have a look at the yields of each of these on loam with the uh with maximum fertilization on all of them and see what happens so first up we have got the wheat so start up our combine and i'm just going to dump the uh stuff on the end at the other side and also we know that there is no difference if we are chopping or not so let's uh that disable straw swath right and let's see what kind of level of harvest we get off here yeah dropping straw swath is not needed And you can see we are getting a nice bright green line from this so the the wheat having been fully uh, done on the loamy soil is just giving a massive massive boost to it now this is something that can change map to map and as i said i'm just going to dump the uh the grain out at the end of each row uh with this combine but that is a, a very definitive wheat on, on loam with a uh, full thing. Uh, gives you a really, a really good uh, crop. But what we're looking to do at the end of this also is to get ourselves a, uh, an idea of how each of these crops leaves the soil afterwards as well because if we can work that out and we can do that then we can give ourselves an idea of a good crop rotation to put our crops through because we, as we've seen we've got some of our crops require less fertilization than others so if you're trying to then build back up from a very low state you're again looking good and we're looking good here as well we have a solid green from the barley as well so that is looking good i'm expecting pretty much all of these to produce a solid green result on here uh, loam as we've seen several times before is a really really good crop for doing this uh for uh, for producing uh high quality and uh, an extra uh, boost to our crops so let's put that down again don't know why i keep putting my auger in each time i don't need to be doing that and again here we've got a nice green strip from the oats 125 percent boost uh to our yield or a 25 percent boost to our yield because it's at 125 percent overall and uh yeah look at look at really really good and i like uh, this is a this is a great little test field we've got here and i think i'm gonna leave uh leave this set up for future because it just allows me to to create strips like this and do testing with them but everything so far has given us this nice uh, big green strip of boosted crop and we should be able to some of these are a little bit uh, well getting on the little bit of the wide side for this these have been I did try and set these strips up to be no more than about three meters wide and it did work for the most part some of the, I think some of our crops are just that little bit bushier than others and therefore seem to hang out at the edges a little bit more but yeah so as uh, with no surprise here we have four crops that have all produced uh, with full fertilization proper lime the full setup they are all looking good and all 
producing well above uh, the the average yield. They're, they're sitting up there at 125%. So before we do the last set with this combine, let's just have a look at the effect this has had on the field. So under here, you can see that the yields on all of these are top-notch, all at 125%. The state they've all left the land in, and this is where it starts to get interesting. Look at this. So wheat, barley, and canola all leave the land at the same point. They all leave the land with, I think, yep, yeah, there we go, a 60 uh, kilogram per acre level of nitrogen. However, treating the oats with the manure first has left the oats in that section with a with 80 kilograms per acre so oats absolutely completely and utterly treat with manure and slurry before you you go to to harvest them because yeah that is uh they actually with manure they actually give a higher result than without it absolutely brilliant let's head through here and do the soybeans then and I want to see what effects both the soybeans and our cover crop have next. So bringing this through here, we're going to drop the header off this at the bottom and come and have a look. But I'm expecting, I'm expecting a boost from the soybeans because the soybeans refused to take any nitrogen at all. And you can see here as well, they have also produced a, an increase... So I want to drop our header off here. So they have also produced a uh, an increase of two one hundred twenty five percent without any nitrogen at all. So as long as your uh, loam part of the field, or or any actually any soil type, as long as it is uh, properly limed and the pH is properly controlled, uh, you will get the best you can get out and with soybeans on loan that is uh that is good in fact that makes again that brings soybeans back to being a really really powerful good crop in uh in farm sim it's i think i kind they kind of fell out of favor with me uh when seasons came out because they had this whole thing oh let's go turn the combine off uh, they had this whole thing of not being sold until midway through the year. But if they have that effect on your field, uh, that, that you can plant them pretty much uh, without doing any fertilizing, what a cracking starter crop for uh, doing this precision farming with start from scratch. Plant soy beans and you don't have to get a fertilizer straight off. So let's now cultivating this cover crop there's no way that you can harvest these there is uh, no harvest setting that you would get from the uh from the oilseed radish uh you just basically have to drive through it with a cultivator uh, and this is where cover crops come into the game so let's have a look at this uh, and we can have a look at these two now. So as we talked about before, yield from the soybeans on loam, again, is at 125%. However, look at the difference here. And here is where putting manure on before actually has improved things. No, in fact, de definitely. No, definitely not. Look at this. So, we've got a boost from the base with the nitrogen. Uh, sorry, with the soybeans. We've got a boost in the nitrogen going up to... Uh, so, that's increased it. So, that has helped. What we've then got is in the manure, we've got a decrease. So, the manure for everywhere else, that is at 200 kilograms per, he per acre. It's a decrease to 160 for our ones here so that is really intriguing now i did I actually no it's not it is still an increase because it's an increase from this baseline i take it back this is a this is an increase from the baseline of 100 
that we got with the manure. So it's boosted it by 60. Yeah, it's boosted it by 60 there. What have we had our boost from to here? So it's boosted it 260 from zero. So our boost is bigger with the soybeans if you do it uh if you do it when you uh after doing manure so i would say i would say doing it with the manure is actually a pretty good thing for the soybeans if you are doing it uh with the next crop in mind because you almost have a full set you only need to add another 40 kilograms uh to that to boost it up to maximum to put the next crop in so uh yeah while soybeans don't do the full whack they do give you a boost in nitrogen which is really interesting actually it's really interesting every crop we've harvested so far we've had the nitrogen come to this this 40 uh no this 60 kilograms per acre set i think if you put if you were to do uh soybeans back to back in a field you'd be boosting it each time which is really interesting it's trying to work out the best rotation for this is uh is quite a uh it's quite a challenge but certainly if you're looking to boost your nitrogen without putting any fertilizer in or you have run out of fertilizer and you don't want to buy any more soybeans seem to be a really really good crop to do let's have a look at grass shall we so grass we've got uh we've just got the mower on here let's switch those round lift that up turn that on lower it down and give the grass a cut so does grass turn up on the harvest screen yes it does to answer lots of people's questions and again grass we've got a hundred and twenty five percent boost from everything being uh, as it should so that is brilliant there's our row of grass behind us there now let's have a look at the map for that as well so grass we can see it's uh, its yield is at 125 uh, percent and it has done the same we again have this uh drop or this this uh drop to 60 uh kilograms per acre so that seems to be the thing if you fully set everything up and get everything working it seems to be that's where you end up at uh, at 60 kilograms per acre so uh yeah that is uh that is really really good and and really interesting to see that that is the level everything seems to be ending up at whether this holds true for all of our crops is going to be interesting let's start the combine and try this one out so will the same be true for our corn our corn again on this uh, on this loam is producing a uh, a 125 percent of normal what's really gonna be interesting over time is trying to figure out exactly how this works on seasons and whether crop rotation has an effect on seasons again this crop here this has uh ooh, let's dump this out this has produced at 125 percent now the one that interests me is uh, is the sunflowers, which take a lot less uh, fertilizer to do stuff. It's somewhere in between the soybeans and the uh, and and the other crops, uh, in that it does require some fertilizer, but not all fertilizer, uh, or not a full whack, and. It is producing on a lower load of fertilizer a, uh, a good amount. I'm wondering if a good way to do it would be to go from soybeans to sunflowers. Uh, if you're if you're not got a lot of money uh, and you're looking to save on fertilizer, your soybeans are pretty much going to fertilize your uh, <laughs> your um, sunflowers. 
from the looks of things. There we go. Right, so that is both of those done. And we are done with this harvester. Let's have a look at how those two crops have fared. And there is something very interesting. The sunflowers have actually not dropped much in nitrogen at all. They're at 80. And they, in fact, I'm not sure that they used, I'm not sure, I, they, they seem to be a fairly neutral crop. I don't think they've used much at all. To be honest, I think because uh, you can see here, we've still got the same level of fertilizer as we started with on this side. Uh, so if anything, the fertilizer hasn't been used much by the sunflowers. So, yeah, they are. A, they are a great crop. Again, if you don't have uh, any money for your um, which of these tractors is on this one. If you don't have any money for fertilizer, sunflowers again a great crop. They are they are pretty neutral as far as uh, that goes. Next up, we've got the sugar beet, and we'll get these harvested. So let's unfold our harvester, start it up, and uh, and see what this has. And everything so far, these are the perfect conditions as far as all of these crops are concerned. Uh, loamy sand in general does seem to be a good choice uh, for crops. And, or loamy, sorry, loamy soil. Although when I was uh, putting this in, it was putting in the correct stuff for loamy sand, interestingly enough. But that again has uh, has produced a full whack of uh harvest potential and uh again has not quite dropped as far we've got down to 80 kilograms per acre of nitrogen there so uh that's that's been good as well actually really quite good for uh from the sugar beet there uh so sugar beet again is a is a crop that uses less let's just i want to have a look at the levels we've got here so we've got yellow levels from the uh from our uh from our cotton here let's see what that produces and we again have a 100%, oh sorry, 125% result from this. And it is, I gotta move this over a little bit because it's affecting the result that we're gonna get from the crop next to it. Because it's quite a wide bit here and it's detecting the field next door. There we go. So that again has produced a full thing and again cotton has not dropped much at all uh that is uh we've got 80 where we'd put the manure down and we've got 60 uh where we uh where we hadn't so uh again another hi fairly high crop uh, as far as that production goes just three more rows of this to do And I really wish I'd been able to do that. Uh, it's it's going to be a little bit of an odd result from the poplars. Uh, poplars, we will get to see what happens when they're not fully fertilized. What I'm interested to see is how much they drop on the far side. Uh, whether there is an issue there uh, with, uh, well, how, how bad they are as far as soil goes in uh, in dropping the overall and there we go so that is the sugar beet uh so uh that is potatoes potatoes again have had a 125 percent yield on the loamy soil and you can see our strip here they've dropped to 80 so root crops are great for not dropping quite so far with your nitrogen levels the ones that are really heavy on the nitrogen levels are your grain crops so your wheat your barley um and and, and in fact i think your canola as well uh, which isn't a grain crop obviously now this may take a couple of 
goats to go because I don't think the sugar pl uh, the uh, the sugar cane harvester is quite as white. Right, this is going to have to immediately dump on the ground behind us. So start it up. Yeah, just. Oh. Move this out of the way. There we go. Yeah, this is the difficulty with a three meter setup on this. It will, if you're careful, take the full width. But it's it's very, very hit and miss. So we will have to go around, do the whole width. Spin around and come back to make sure we get everything. And try and avoid our other piles. But it is throwing out the uh, the muck from them. Now, sugarcane, yeah, sugarcane does not regrow. Oh, well, maybe it does. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done sugarcane in farm sim. But there we are. Let's have a look at that one. So sugarcane again has... You can see the, the drop in pH on everything as well here. Uh, but uh, yeah, sugarcane, that has had... Uh, a full whack, a, a full 125% on here as well. And uh, the nitrogen level, like the other root crops and things, has not dropped. Now, what I do want to check with sugarcane is it does show as harvested, doesn't it? Yeah. But I have a feeling sugarcane might regrow. So, uh, yeah, that is... Uh, it seems that there are several crops here that just, that they don't have such a huge a huge impact on your nitrogen levels so are uh, good to put in there to uh sort of intermediates so like start with the uh start with the uh wheat then uh rotate through to soybeans uh put in some sunflowers and then finally finish off with a root crop uh, and you will end up doing a lot less uh, a lot less fertilizing uh, and in fact by the looks of things oats are, are a good thing in there because they take a lot less out of the ground in the first place so fertilizing it's not just a case of any more of of needing to do two it's a case of uh, of of needing to do um wow uh, of, of some cases not needing to fertilize at all poplars what have you done so poplars are interesting um we've got we've we've got it down to zero because we didn't fertilize this even with this boost here it's uh it it took it right down to zero so they needed they needed some fertilizer we couldn't put it in as we planted so i so i didn't um so that is a reason for our big smacking red line but even that wasn't enough to bring it up and that is why you can see here our yield is uh i think is as low as yeah 95 percent there and we got to yeah under our equipment so if i take our vehicles out like so uh, you can see here where we are and we'll step out of it and you can see here we got as high as 110 percent 115 percent did we get we did get a couple of patches 125 percent so my thought is that looking at that the amount of uh nitrogen we needed is actually more akin to the level that you would get from uh, sugar beet or or uh, potatoes, the root crop type stuff. Uh, maybe even um, along the lines of uh, the sugar cane. But you've got to be really careful because poplars completely clear 
the ground from nitrogen. Even even in that instance, they they took it out, would have taken it out completely, I think. So uh, I think there's some more investigation to do with poplars because we weren't able to investigate them fully here. Everything else, I think you want to have a rotation along the lines of uh, starting with uh, wheat, barley, or oats. Oats, I think, is a really good crop. Uh, you can see here it takes less out of the soil overall, especially if you're putting manure down. Oats are a great crop if you're putting manure down. More gets left in there. Um, actually, no, I, do you know what? I think you should start with a cover crop. Look at the difference that we have with the uh where we put the cover crop in so we put the cover crop in we put bring the grass in we put the cover crop in there and you can see that it did give it gave a boost so i would i would go cover crop cultivated in manure then put oats on then put um sunflowers on and then, sorry, then put soybeans on, then put sunflowers on, um, and then put a root crop on, and and then go back to the cover crop. And that, I think, is going to be the most effective uh, crop rotation that you have uh, with this setup, with precision farming. How that changes with seasons is going to be interesting. And whether seasons... I, I don't know if seasons has just had an update for this. Uh, and how this works with it but it does add that extra level in that makes it really really interesting so uh i hope you guys have found this video uh useful um if you do have any any questions please come and pop in to my live streams i stream on twitch every uh tuesday wednesday friday and sunday and uh with that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.